Hey guys, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. In this video, you're going to see math activities from, I believe it was week four of school. I'm not completely sure because we're a little bit behind on making these videos. I have them all recorded, I just don't have them all edited. So I don't know which week is which now anymore. But Green. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Green. Green. What's next? Oh. Excellent. Yeah. And then if we continued the pattern, what would be next? Very good. So this pattern is called an AAB pattern. A, A, B, A, A, B, because it's two of the same and then the next one changes. Very good. This one's gonna be blue, green, green, blue. Yes, what's next? Right, so this is an A, B, B pattern, A, B, B, because you have one, and then two of the same, then one. Okay, good job. We have sunglasses. Sun lotion, sun lotion. Sunglasses, what's next? Okay, so take one of your chips and cover up the sun lotion. All right, good. This activity works on patterning. The, these books are the pre-K summer review books. I have a whole bunch of them, and this is one particular one. And even though he's not in pre-K, he's in kindergarten, these books are to be used for students who are entering kindergarten. And the reason I pulled it out was just because it was a patterning activity, and that's what we were working on this particular day. You made a pattern by yourself? So you made what? Yellow, green, green. Yellow, green, green. Very good. That's called an A, B, B pattern because we put letters with each one. So A, B, B, A, B, B, A, B, B. Very good. You made your own pattern. <laughs> this activity was more fun with patterns, except this one was a fall theme activity. It comes from my bundle of fall themed activity activities. And basically, he had to find the next item in each pattern on each strip. It was super fun, and he did a really great job. Activity is compare heights and length zoo so we have a zoo mat and then we have zoo cards and the kids have to compare the zoo animals their heights and their lengths and with this activity we used these um, little snap cubes to mark our answers okay so the elephant is taller very good let's take another card Put it in the zoo. Now we're going to compare the tiger and the kangaroo. Now, wait, take that off because I have to read this to you. Now you're gonna mark the one that is shorter this time. Which one's shorter? Very good. So how tall is the kangaroo? How many squares? Six. Okay, and how many squares is the tiger? Okay, so the kangaroo is two more than the tiger. Let's take that one off our zoo. And let's get another one.
This was another measurement activity and what the kids do, you can use these with clip cards or you can mark your answers with manipulatives. He used these to mark his answers. What the kids do is they just measure, they see how long the object is and then they have to mark how many squares long it is. So it's an easy introductory activity. However, it was so easy that it was too easy for him. So what I did is then I took two cards and we compared them. So we would take a, a larger one that's longer and one that's smaller. He would mark how long they were and then we would compare them and we'd even threw in a little subtraction there because I would say how many longer is a certain um, object than the other one so he had to subtract the numbers to figure out how much how long, much longer it is it was so we did a lot of skills with this we did measurement we did um, comparison and we did subtraction take the first card how long is the pencil it's one two three boxes long very good or three squares long I should say how long is the crayon it's four long good remember you want to look to see where it ends, which one it ends at. So you, that's right, good job. How long is our glue? One square long. How long is the clip? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna give you two of them, and you tell me which one is longer. The clip or the pencil? Clip. How long is the pencil? How long is the clip? Four. So how many more does the clip have? One. One more. Very good. All right. Let's try this. The crayon. How long is the crayon? One plus eight equals nine. Okay. Because there's one more and then it's eight. And then since it's one more, it makes nine. Good job. This activity is another one of my fall math activities. And it can be used in a couple different ways. It can be used just for counting. It can be used for addition. And then it can also be used for subtraction. Right. So what about this one, next one? Uh, three o'clock. Right, three o'clock, very good. This is a telling time activity from my early learner's math curriculum, the unit on time. He had to tell meow the time, get it? It's, it's a little cat themed activity. And he was taking the cards and giving the cat the fish that had the correct time on it. That's all for this time, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.